Now, earlier this morning, the deepest part of the Earth's shadow grazed the full moon in what's known as a partial eclipse. It was visible from Western Australia and could also be seen across Asia and the Middle East. Well, to tell us more, our favourite astronomer, Dr Charlie Lineweaver from the ANU's Planetary Science Institute joins us. Charlie, firstly, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited were you? Oh, I'd say <laughs> 6 at least. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. Now, explain to us exactly what happened. OK, well, a few hours ago, the solar system put on a display of precision that it does, oh, let's say a couple times a year. This was an eclipse of the moon. Now, this, uh, an eclipse of the moon happens a few times a year. This was the best one, but it's not a great one, but it was a nice one. And it happened just before sunrise. So if you were an early rising dairy farmer out in Perth at about 4.07, you would have seen the, uh, uh, the moon take a, get a little bit darker as it traveled through the sky. How, how does it actually happen and, and what causes it with this sort of alignment of planets, suns, earth's moon? Tell us how it happens. Okay, well this was a planetary syzygy. And syzygy is for you Scrabble players there. It's just a fancy word for alignment. And when you, every time you see the full moon, that means that the sun and the earth and the moon are aligned almost in a, in a line. But occasionally you will get a very precise alignment and let me show you the, the Earth, as your car does every morning in, when it's in the sun, it has a shadow. And here's, I have a diagram of the shadow of the Earth. So the sun is over there, the Earth is here, and it's causing a shadow, a conical shadow to extend out into outer space away from the sun. Just like a car extends, has a shadow. Now, this is the dark part of the shadow. This is the lighter part of the shadow. This is called the umbra. This is called the penumbra. And the moon about three hours ago did this. It takes about four hours to go from here to here. It went like this. And right when it got there, it was a little one or two percent of the moon got into the darkness of the penumbra and you could see it turn reddish and then it passed through for about half an hour and then it moved on like that. And that's because the moon was almost precisely aligned with the sun, the earth, and then this dark umbra. When the moon goes like that, then you have a more spectacular total eclipse of the moon. How many more partial eclipses are we going to have? I believe there are a few more this year. Yes, there, this, there are three in 2013. This was the best one. The other two are going to be penumbral, where the moon goes through this part or this part, but doesn't traverse the umbra. <laughs> what is that you've actually got in your hand, Charlie? This is a pizza plate. This is a uh, to put pizzas on. <laughs> And I clearly, you had one last night, no doubt. I did not. No, no, I took this out of the cupboard. This is all fresh and new. I should point out that there are a couple other uh, uh, things that are happening in the sky this year, and that is that we're, there was a recent detection of a new comet, and it might be a spectacular comet or it might be a fizzle, depending on whether it falls apart under the influence of the sun. Right now, this comet is at a, between Jupiter and the asteroid belt. It's racing towards the sun. It will get within about a million kilometers of the sun. And then on its way there, it might produce this giant streak across the sky, or it might be almost invisible. We don't know yet. Unlike the moon, which is very predictable, comets are very unpredictable. So how should we prepare for this potential event? Well, keep track, keep on good terms with your local astronomer and he'll tell you or she will be able to tell you how much this thing is volatilizing and disappearing or is it getting bigger and bigger and bigger and producing a big streak as big possibly as Halley's Comet. Wow, that's, that would be something to look forward to. Charlie, good as always. Have a great day. Yes, thank you very much, Bev.